Yet again, you interrupt crucial work. He is not happy we're here. A monument to science, to saving lives. So we learned last time that these little minion guys buff him to all hell. So we have to take these guys out ASAP. She just moves here. They had like 1,200 health last time, I think. Because each one of them runs to the boss and gives him a buff that gives him 500 armor. So every hit does 500 less damage. And a buff that gives him more timeline movement. So like he gets 15 initiative and initiative knockback resistance or something stupid like that so i'm not gonna burst the celeste even though that would take him out and we'd be able to move fast actually that might be the plan to do um then i could move up to him and take him out so yeah i'm gonna burst and take him out Setback. And then I'm going to move her over here so she's in position to take more of them out when it's her turn. So it's going to be hard to count the squares that way. Oh, actually, no, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's not going to be able to get in range of him, I think. Nope. So she's just going to end her turn. I was hoping to get in range of him and pop two off on him. Well, that's not going to be the case. And you can see all the buffs that he just got from that one thing after it moved. And that's not taking very much initiative either. So, yeah, right now he has 75% knockback resistance. And 1500 armor. That's ridiculous. So... There's two plans in my head right now, one of which is slightly suicidal. And that's to have Charity run up the center with Blacksmith's Grace on. That will take the heat off the other two and let me take them out. Now, I don't know how else to get to them, to be honest. So I think that's going to be the plan. Especially because it's not going to burst anyone. One, two, three, four... So this is like the closest she's going to be able to get. So I'll let her stay there for now. And he's going to devotion again. And then move up. So next turn I can get him. And they're going to do the same I think. So the plan is to take these guys out. I think I can do that. And it would burst her. One less to plague the innocent. But if I blacksmith grace her, she's gonna take a lot less damage. And I should have learned my lesson last time from that AoE that killed her. But Okay, 
I can only use that once a turn. That's good to know. And I'll get him next time. I'm actually going to keep him alive to see what happens. No damage. That's good. And Charity goes faster. Um, I want her over here. But I'm going to end her turn for now. Because I have a plan and I want to see how this works. That's really good. Where does it get summoned? Okay. It's just arrived. All right. I have a plan of action. So Blacksmith's Grace, she's not going to get hurt except for by super hits. He's going to get closer. Devotion. Maybe hit me. Block. Intercepting round. So now anything the boss does is going to get interrupted. We're shadow rounding, so she's going to bounce off any hits that anyone else does. We're backstabbing this caretaker. Killing him. The cure will be found. Phase two. He's flanked, so he's taking extra damage. Plus, we have the buff from her, so he's taking extra damage from that. Good. End the turn. Actually, I should have. Boosted, I think. Or bursted. That was not part of the plan. Interrupted, though, so that's good. At this point, I have to go for broke on something and hope this interrupts it. So we're going to interrupt. We're going to Shadow Round. And pop, pop. And Shadow Round, pop, pop. With Shadow Round bouncing off of her Shadow Round. And now, shot. Shadow Round. Shadow Round. How much health does he have? I am going to burst, so I can keep these shadow rounds going. Because look at that damage. The plague will kill us all. Each cut brings us closer to the cure. They spoke lies, little one. Too little to fight. They cut me because I could not die. We will fight for you. Release this memory to me. That's a little dark.